One more week, Mom, and your little one will be one year old. Can you believe it? And while it may be business as usual for him, you're probably busy planning a party of a lifetime. Don't overdo it, but take lots of pictures. That way, you'll have plenty of blackmail photos for when he's older. Speaking of older, as your baby matures, you may find that he experiences some separation anxiety when you lay him down to sleep. This is completely normal and, like most phases, won't last forever. However, staying with him until he falls asleep will actually only prolong the behavior. Instead, try following these steps to help ease baby's anxiety. First, keep the house mood calm for a couple of hours leading up to baby's bedtime. Next, be sure to give your little one some quality pre-bedtime attention. And finally, Stick to a routine. This way, baby knows exactly what to expect. Also, if you're a co-sleeping family, be sure to check out this week's to-do section before you transition baby to his own bed. There's a link to an article with some expert advice on how to do it successfully. Keep in mind, as baby turns one, there are a lot of changes on the horizon. For example, the end of the first year usually means introducing new foods, switching to cow's milk, and dropping the bottle. It may also prompt parents to turn the car seat forward facing. However, before you do that, make sure you're up to date on the AAP recommendations, which now recommends waiting until age two to turn around forward facing. If you have any concerns about your baby's car seat, whether it's the right size or needs to be adjusted, Check in with the professionals. Finally, as you look ahead, consider making a transitional timeline. Be careful not to introduce too many changes too quickly. While baby may be eager and quick to learn, he can also be overwhelmed easily. This can lead to frustration and may even cause baby to regress. Take your time and listen to your little one. He'll let you know what's working and what's not.